Neighbours, the horse soap opera, is a potentially multi-award winning series made in the UK. It's possibly the world's most loved horse soap opera, and we've got exclusive behind the scenes access to the team who made it. You know, it's just human this, human that. We think we're better than animals, but we're not. You're an idiot, and I hate you. Where are you going? I don't want to hang out with a bald horse. I'm not bald yet. Look, I've got a frozen beard. Idiot. Come back. Dr. Doolittle had it right. Is it back in the 90s now? Dr. Doolittle really paved the way for talking animals and feature films, but it, it's really died off, and I think it's, it's time for a new generation of talking animal actors. From scripting to post-production, Neighbours has a cast and crew totaling more than 150, including over 100 humans. They range from top industry equestrian experts... I started with cats, and I figured if you can hold a cat, you can hold a horse to freelance horse security personnel. When I was working on Neighbours the Soap Opera, I was one of the horse guards, so if there were people trying to come and steal the horses, I would have to warn them off or perhaps shoot them. Just kind of generally making sure the horses were fine, well watered and fed and clean. I miss them actually, but I think that you will notice how chilled out the horses are, and that was due to me. My name's Tina, with a T, and I make the tea. <laughs> or coffee, or anything really. I'm sort of the tea girl, but I like to think of myself as the caterer, really. I think it's the most important role, to be honest. I know the horses are sort of the star of the show, but if people didn't have tea, and they'd just get cold, and no one would want to be there. So I think my job is a very important one. I think one of my favorite days filming was, there's a scene in Neighbours where a horse uh, dies, a horse gets killed, sadly. The actor who played that is called Graham. He's, he's a great actor, but he could not stay still. He'd do this beautiful death scene. He'd pass away wonderfully, but he couldn't stay dead. He would just keep on getting up. So, uh, had him killed for real. Sorted that out. He was an, I mean, he was an idiot. His agent was quite unhappy. The crew involved in preparing the set for the filming of Neighbours is remarkably dedicated. On such a large-scale production, it's important that no detail is overlooked. I'm what you would call the health and safety officer, but obviously on this production, I'm more the horse and safety officer. So we've got to get the actors across this busy road. We get a lot of traffic through here. Double-decker buses, taxis, motorbikes. They go to this field from the hotel which is just past this golf club. Uh, so what I've had installed is this crossing. Now the horses know that when the light is red, they stop, the green means go. Never show a horse the godfather. On the set of Neighbours, the crew work tirelessly. People can think it's quite glamorous on set, and it can be, but it can take the crew days, literally days, to set up a shoot, and then it can take a long time to get the right moments from the actors, from the horses. There's a lot of, lot of horse poo, a lot of wind, a lot of cold involved in Neighbours. Planning for the afternoon shoot, the early shift crew members begin set preparations. Uh, I'm the gaffer. I gaffer the floor with gaffer tape, so where the horses know exactly where they need to be in any given scene. I really really like horses. I mean, I really like them. Working to the highest standards, they are meticulous in making sure every detail is perfect. Obviously people don't like a lot of poo, but it's important to have some poo to create a sort of natural scene. So it's a case of putting the poo in the correct places to create a sort of visual imagery. Food, much like poo, is another thing that doesn't get overlooked on the set. Feed them whole, sometimes peel them, sometimes break them up. Yeah, I think I think the crew work well together. I know I, I got on with them really well. Horses don't do that. I, I mean, sometimes I can get a bit angry on set just because when you care that much about a project, the, the passion I had for neighbours just occasionally could sort of spill out in an artistic overflow. Who made a noise? Who made a noise? Get out! But uh, no, it was, it was good. We bonded. As with any major production, Neighbours had its fair share of personalities and egos. I'm the stylist. I add a little je ne sais quoi to the filming. And the horses, oh, 
They love me. I don't touch them, of course, but they love me. In some shots, you see, I'll have the horse facing that way. And in other shots, I might just tell it to face this way. Or it could, in fact, turn around completely. Or it could go like that for added drama, in which case it's just died. That would be awful, wouldn't it? Ready? <sighs> just run. <laughs> Action! Filming is only half the work. The post-production team spend weeks working on the footage from the shoot. The audio of the finished product is vital. So my role on Neighbours is the Foley artist. Uh, obviously, the horses are very good at making their own neighing sounds, but sometimes we have to add that little bit extra in post-production, in the edit, um, add a little bit more of the neigh to the... To the sound. As part of the project, one of Britain's longest running choirs was commissioned to sing an opening theme tune for Neighbours. <laughs> During the final stages of editing, they weren't deemed good enough, so an alternative mix was created by music producer and singer R. Kelly. We're obviously making the making of the making of. Which is why we're filming you right now, making the making of. With the first episode of Neighbours ready for release, the PR company arranged for online, TV and radio promotion. Well, it's been much talked about and I'm absolutely thrilled to be talking to the writer and director of Neighbours the Horse Soap Opera, Tim Johns. Hi, Tim. Thanks for joining us. So what was your inspiration? No one could have predicted the worldwide success that Neighbours, the horse soap opera, was set to enjoy. You're showing me a picture on your hand. But for the cast and crew, it was a success well earned. Right, Rob, that's a wrap. <laughs>